respect your feelings and your opinions below. On Spurs, um, we could break hey. the game down, but we did that yesterday. Hey. Um, are you Anjin? And Jow, what you what you saying, Henry? Because a few weeks ago, you stood up and gave us a big speech as to why he's got to be sacked. Then you won a few games, and you um you you went from standing up to back on your knees, and now it feels like you're about to pack your bag and leave again. Yeah, I've been very vocal about the manager. Just when I think Angie's we're going to turn a corner and and win a few games, we then lose to Crystal Palace in Ipswich. You know, the margins are so fine, it's unreal. If we were to beat an Ipswich, we'd be third in the league right now. But we're also three points off of 13th. So, you, yes, there's there's a lots of positives. Yes, there's lots of negatives. In terms of Angie and Ange out, I would say I am 75% out, 25% in. I, Yes, it's fantastic beating City in the Cup. We have played Crystal Palace, Leicester and Ipswich, who are four of the three, three of the bottom four teams. We haven't beaten any of them, and we've got one point off Leicester. We've also lost five games already this season. The only teams that have lost more in the league Sorry, we're one point. Sorry, Z in the chat says we're one point off 13th. This this diabolical Man United side that everyone's mudding and saying, oh, they're trash, uh, they're, they're not good enough, etc. If they beat... I can't remember who your next game is. But basically, Man United have been trash this season. We're basically one win worse than the rest of you. Yeah, so let's say we lose to City. <laughs> we, we, let's, be, let's be honest, City will be out by far favourites playing at home. If City beat us... And Man United beat Ipswich, which will be Ruben Amrim's first game, which you'd expect them to, new manager bounce. We will be below Man United and sitting around 13th in the league. Now, <laughs> I understand it's 11 games. I understand we're in a process. 13th in the league after 12 games is categorically unacceptable. Yep. You can't lose to Ipswich, Crystal Palace, get a draw off Leicester, but somehow in the same month manage to beat Man City in the cup and absolutely spank Villa 4-1. The consistency levels are ridiculous. I genuinely, if it's the team that, that beats Villa, we will beat City, mark my words. If there's a team that plays yeah. Crystal Palace and Ipswich, City could steamroll us. There is no yeah. team, I don't no worry about that. Don't worry about big that. football club in the Premier League is that inconsistent. Hey, is Henry, do you, know, do you know what it is? Yeah. Um, I, I came on the terrace that course. I came on the terrace um, last season um, and I was talking about, I was trying to, like rally all you Tottenham fans together. Everyone thought I was trolling. I'm having fun with it. And I know they'll probably think I'm trolling now, but I'm being genuinely serious. Like you lot just need to play your position. If you learn how to play your position, there's no trolling of you lot. Like last okay, season so when what, you lot were telling us... Right. Like, okay, let me tell you what's not your position. Last season you were telling us Odegaard is not as good as Madison. Oh, uh, the, what, what, the it's not about Arsenal. It, it's, it's, in the on. world. All these little things. And you lot got so excited. Like, Odegaard, uh, Udogi, yeah, best left back in the world. All these different things. You lot got so excited. Ange Ball, who we are, high lines, all that stuff. And you lot started getting excited. But if you realise that Spurs are not so different to like a Leicester, innit, in terms of like their Premier oh, League history, other than, uh, other, than Le uh, other than other than other than Leicester have a prem, <laughs> but in terms of the way their fans react to victory, is like we're so happy to get a result. So, so, so when Leicester I, I, are on I, I a get, good I run of games, point. we're praising Leicester. That's how we should be praising. Pra so, if you look got on a three game winning streak, we should be praising Spurs, not saying they should have been doing this earlier. But it's because of the fan base think you lot are bigger than you are. We're here, and we're here yeah, every year. Do you, know what, do you know why that is? Why? It's because we have the most expensive season ticket in Europe. The average season ticket at Tottenham is more than Madrid. Mm. We make more money on a match though, day. For accepting that. Right, precisely. When, we, when, when we're doing a, a, a Levy Out protest, there's people walking out of the merchandise store, standing in a fucking protest with a brand new Tottenham shirt. So who's the mug? Daniel Levy's just earned another 100 quid, or you standing there with a wannabe Ed Sheeran with a banjo bloody guitar, singing about Levy out, Levy out, Levy out. We can't even protest correctly. The biggest protest the club has ever had was against the Super League. They got the the, the genuine that. football fan at Tottenham, I'm not saying any of the creators, Kate or Toby or whatever, the genuine football fan at Tottenham only wants a play style. If the play style is good, we're playing good football, 
Really, Henry? Is that are you being real there? I'm being 100. Go to that stadium. Well, I know you're obviously not going to anytime soon in your life, but go in that stadium, right? I would say as a percentage, close to near on 60 percent of the people care more about what the football looks like than what actually happens. Wait, but Henry, though, like we got to be honest here. Like, what standards are you holding this manager to? Z and well, I well. I seem to be the only one, and I'm not doing this for attention or Henry Talks Bollocks or whatever the fuck you want to say. I have seen been the only one so far, and I'm not, not doing this for attention, that is actually, in, in certainly in the terrorist space, that's, that's called it out and said this isn't acceptable. Like, don't get me wrong, if we would have beaten Ips if beaten Ipswich, we'd be third right now and I'd be on cloud nine. But guess what? We fucking didn't beat Ipswich. We lost no. to a team. That striker, by the way, Sammy Smodex, was doing one-to-one -one coaching four miles from me only four months ago. Yeah, but I don't think that... And then he turns up to us and pulls out and over a kick, Will. Mate, it's like Real Madrid losing to... Uh, what are their names? Sure. Sure. That have been diabolical all La Liga. They've been like 19th Valencia? or 18th. Who? Valencia? Yeah. Imagine them turning up to the Bernabeu and they're... Negre they get Negredo back, who's probably about 43 I, now. No, no, no wait. I, 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 I have to say one thing, though, Henry. I don't, one thing I don't understand with Spurs fans... Is why you be how old are you about 27, right? You're a bit yeah. you're still a bit of a pup. 28. Bit of a how pup. after 28 what? years are you still angry and surprised by this? That, that's what doesn't make sense to me, but okay. My if they said if, if the club come out and actually said, right, this this is our these are our aims this season, which is to get in the top four and do our absolute best to achieve silverware, the the, the people would rally. What we don't do, what we do is we've got more merch drop in. We've got more events coming at the stadium. I don't mind having all these different revenue streams if you're actually going to buy a decent player or decent 11. What we do is we open up a catalogue and the first thing we have a look at, we go and buy. So, yes, Ange Foster Coglu has had 400 million euros. But then when you break it down, who have we actually bought? Yes, I, I understand well, all of this, Henry. Kind of idea, but, but the point is, and I'm not even trying to make this a dig, right? My dad's a Spurs fan. I got a little soft spot for the club most of my life, right? Other than the weird attacks I got a few years ago. But why are you surprised? Like, genuine, this is what I don't understand. Pure hope this yeah, is, you don't see Leicester is, fans is, coming is, on the is, terrace what, shouting and screaming is, about losing hey, a game. Right, hang on. Leicester, okay, fair enough. Leicester beat us to a fucking Premier League title. <laughs> but we are not Leicester. You're having Brother, an absolute In the love. Premier League, yeah, yeah, right, Leicester Leicester won won. I asked you earlier. Or like, the what? three domestic trophies and a Premier League, bro. What have you lot won in the Premier League? Yeah, but football didn't start in 20 bloody 15, yeah, I, did it? And that's why I specifically yeah, said in the Premier years old. League. Bro. I don't understand why you as a 28-year-old, you fell in love with Tottenham when you were bang average. You've always been bang average. Why is my brother supports Leighton Orient? They know what they are. Why don't you know what Tottenham are? Thank you. Because That's why I, I, not, I, just you, year, not just you, Henry. Not just you, Henry. All of you. Historically, you're a cook team. <laughs> That's what Spurs are. Right, precisely, Nobbins. If we go in the League Cup this season and finish sixth, I'll be happy with that. Bro, but that was when black and white TV weren't even in everyone's homes. No, wait, but Henry, like, but that's why... Why, I, I, why I, when you don't finish in the top six, are you upset then if you'd be happy with a Carabao Cup? Every win? single year, I try to buy into a manager, back a manager and P positive. I buy into it, and every single year, I get absolutely shafted. Okay, that's what, Just, but that's no, your, you, that's you your accept, issue. That you sounds accept like you what problem, you are, right? If you accept what you are and where you are, you'll be happy. This idea that everybody's got to, you know, push those Real Madrid standards and start smashing players' car windows and you don't win. No, that's not what... You've never... You're never I know, you're we're not, really, I understand. The, I understand the only connection to Real Madrid you've got is you both playing white. That's it. And Gareth Bale, Modric, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's not a connection. They stole them from you. That's like yeah, if Brad yeah, Pitt. But, like, if, if Brad Pitt nicks my Missy, that doesn't make me and Brad Pitt connected. <laughs> we look like you, each other. He thing, stole my other half. Like, come on now. Like, yeah. The thing is, the thing is, the thing that annoys me is we are... In the League Cup quarterfinal, right? We've got Man United. You watch the team that we put out against Man United when that team comes around. We won't go full strength. We did this what? against Sheffield United away. Nah, come on, we left, no, you will. <laughs> will FA Your Cup last two years ago? Sheffield United. About trophies in a second season. Yeah, like, you okay. Go out for that. So he better win a trophy this season. If he doesn't, sack him. You've got yeah. to stick it out but with I, him. That's where no, you I be... see. Nina, we're tenth. We're, we're fucking tenth. What, so you're going to sack him now, and who are you going to bring in? Top half. That's top half of the table. So oh, what was that, Nina? Say that again, sorry, Nina. I didn't hear you. Um, no, because Henry just said we're 10th or whatever, but, you know, okay, sack him now, and then you think that something is going to change instantly? 
No, I don't think anything's going to change instantly. I think you need to talk about it. You know, you've exactly. you got to change no, the culture. Yeah. You know, but, you know, you've got to test out the theory if Ange wins trophies in his second season. Just like to... Conte and Jose and, and everyone else is supposed to win his trophies. Well, we're yeah, still but here on the round. Right, let, let, know, let's let's ride that story, story and, we, and we'll see you what know, happens at the end. You know, Levy sacked Conte before the final because he didn't want Conte Jose. 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 I mean, Jose, because he didn't want Jose to actually get silverware for you guys. Yeah, because the payout if he would have won the League Cup would have been about 20 million euros. But 